Welcome to the Vinyl Max Vision video series. Today's advanced topic is mold units. We're in the Vinyl Max Web Center, which you should already know how to log into, and we're going to start by creating a quote. Select my customer, enter any information that's valid for this order, and click Add. The center, I'm going to select the product category that I want. In this case, I'll choose Newton and then select a part from the drop-down. All of our mold units start with the first two letters MU, and you can see we have a list of pre-configured options for you to choose from. We're going to enter a triple with double hungs on the ends and a picture window in the center. Once I've selected the part, I click Add. Then I enter my size. This is the size for the entire opening. And if you want to enter a comment like what room it's going to or something like that, you can enter that here and then click Add. The first screen it brings you to are the options for the overall opening. So we want it factory mauled. This is the color if there are any things like paint or uh, any frame options that you want. Then click Next. Now we get into the individual units on this mold unit. And you can see here at the top, it tells you that the section options are for sections one and three, and what part those are, which are double hungs Newton. If you look over here on the right hand side, you'll see a diagram of your complete opening with the various sections numbered. So we're talking about sections one and three here, which are shown one and three over here, and those are the double hungs on the ends of this unit. So anything we select here will apply to both of those units. So I'm going to select grids for these ends. And just a tip, if you're ever wondering what options are available, you can click on the little picture icon next to the drop-down list, and it will visually represent the options for you also. Grid material. and no other options for this, so then I'm going to click Next. Now it takes me here, we can see, to Section 2, which is the picture window for this unit, and I would like grids in that also, so I'm going to select Colonial Grids, and it's recommending a pattern. I don't like that pattern. I'm going to select another pattern, and these are represented in bars verticals and horizontals. So this should look better with the opening that I've selected. And then I want the grid material to match. So once I've selected my options here, I click Next. And you can see it's built a diagram of the option. Now it will take you through the moles themselves. I'm going to click Next there. There are no options to select there. And now we're back to a summary of our entire unit. So again, on the right-hand side, we have a diagram with the units that are labeled. And then on this screen, you can tab through the individual windows and their options here along the top with each of these numbers representing one of the units in the overall opening. So you can see I'm paging through those. Now that selects them one at a time. If I wanted to select more than one at a time, I can click this uh, box right here that has um, the multi-select. And I'm going to select units one and three, which are my double hungs. You're not allowed to select units that are not a part of the same family. So I'll pick my two double hungs and click options. And it takes me back to the options wizard where I could make a change on these double hungs. So for example, if I want to change the grid pattern to prairie instead, I can do that here. You can see the representation of the new option here and then click next. So you can see again, we're back at the screen that shows us the overall unit and I want to select the picture window to change those grids as well. So up here at the top, I'm going to select unit two, which is the picture window as shown in my graphical representation. And I'm going to change those grids to prairie. 
Now our system will automatically align the horizontals and verticals so that they, they line up nice and neat. So everything here looks good. I can also review the options that I've chosen uh, in Word form uh, by clicking Summary which shows the actual options selected versus preview, which is the picture representation of that. And I can also look at it from the outside and inside. If I needed to change the size of this overall unit, I could do so here. When I'm satisfied with everything here, I click add, and that adds the entire mold unit to my order. Once you've added that mold unit to the order, then you can proceed with the rest of the order as ever you wish. You could add another mold unit or a single unit simply by selecting a part from the drop down. So let's look at another type of mold unit, which would be a stacked mold unit with a double hung twin and a picture window over the top of it. Click add. Enter our size. And once again, the first screen are the things that apply to the entire mold unit. So maybe I'll change the color to tan. And once again, it takes us to the options for sections one and two, which in our diagram are the two double hungs. And then section three is the picture window over the top. Click next through the malls. And then we've added an additional mold unit to the order. That concludes this session on the advanced topic of entering pre-configured mold units. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. More information can be found in the VinylMax Web Center User's Manual.